What's up, guys? What's going on, man? I'm Paul. This is Paul in Theology. We're back, and this is our daily Devo. We are in 1 John chapter 3, verses 4 through 10. If you haven't read them yet, go ahead, stop the tape right now, read them, uh, get a knowledge of what it says, then come back, and we'll answer the four questions. If you've already read, uh, then let's go on, jump in it, my friends. Let's get it. So what is John saying? What is when he writes from 4 to 10? What is he saying? Well, it says everybody who uh, sins commits lawlessness because lawlessness is sin. And then he says that we know that Jesus was manifested or he was revealed or he came in order that sins could be done away with. Okay. He's like, that's how we know um, that Jesus has won the victory is that he has came to do away with sin and he does not sin. There is no sin in him. And so that all that remains in him do not sin as well. Okay. We know this. And he says, uh, don't be deceived. The reason we know that this is true is because we have been given the spirit. Okay. It says that we have been given the spirit or his seed has been planted in us. And we are been born of God. Now, he says, don't be deceived. Anybody who does righteousness is righteous. It's because Jesus is righteous. And then he says that uh, anyone who sins is from the devil because the devil has been sinning from the beginning. It's like, who's your father? That's a, a kind of thing that John talks about in this and in his gospel. He's talking about you don't even know your father because if you were a father, Abraham, you'd be doing the works of your father, which is faith. You'd be having faith and believing in Jesus being the Messiah, but you don't. So your father is the devil. And so that's what he's saying. By your actions, you recognize whose child you are. And the reason I'm saying this is because just earlier we talked about in an episode ago, we talked about how we are children of God and we are, Ooh. John said, and we are. And so we are children of God. And how do we know that we're children of God? It's because we are practicing righteousness. We are walking in truth. We are living in the light. And how do we know that we're not? How do we know that we are sons of Satan, that we're sons of the devil? Is that we are living evil. And it says we are doing evil. We're not living righteousness. But then we are also not loving our brother. We are not loving our brother. This is one of my favorite verses, though. It says that that Jesus came to undo what the devil did. You see, that's how we know that when we are born of God, when we have that seed implanted in us, that we walk in righteousness. Because only Jesus, only Jesus can break the chains of sin in someone's life. Only Jesus can make someone turn from left to right, do an about face. Only Jesus can, man. Only Jesus can. And he does that, man. That was his purpose and his goal, to take away sins and to undo what the devil has done. And how did he do that? With his sacrifice on the cross, his death, his burial, his resurrection, and his bestowal of the Spirit in us. Man. That's awesome. That is awesome. So what do we know about God from this? Well, what we know about God is that he's righteous and just and he desires for us to be so. And the desire for us to be so is that he actually sent his son to die so that those things which the devil has created in this world will be reversed. That is the fall. That is sin that man commits. When we were deceived from the very beginning, Satan, he's a deceiver from the very beginning, a liar from the very beginning, a lawless person from the very beginning. And we have been formed under his image as we begin to sin ourselves. But Jesus came to undo that, to sanctify us and to bring us back together with the one who created us in the beginning so that we can be, again be children, imitators, look like 
be as the father. Man, that's how much that God desires righteousness and justice in us. Yes, it's because he loves us, but it's also because he desires for us to be righteous and holy. Well, what's this say about man? Well, I think uh, what we should realize is that God has given man a special gift. That is his spirit. But how do we know that we have a spirit? Actions prove the man. Because uh, in verse 10, it says this. It says, this is how the sons of God and the sons of devil of, of Satan are revealed. It says the one who doesn't do righteousness is not from God. And the one who doesn't love his brethren is not from God. And we know that those who are children of God received his spirit. We know that. So how do you know? You know a tree by its fruit. So how can we apply this to our lives? Well, I think first off, remember that Jesus has the victory. That when we seem to sink back into those old ways of sin, of despair, of trouble, remember that Jesus has come to undo those things and he did it by dying on the cross for us and then giving us his spirit. That's the first thing. Remember the sacrifice of Christ and then our possession or how we are being possessed by the spirit. So remember that. But second, man, I think that, uh, man, we should live out our lives in love. We should live out our lives in righteousness. And I know that's to, to apply that is kind of hard. Like, well, what do I do to do that? Well, study scripture, pray, seek community uh, in the church, a uh, partner that you can talk to that will hold you accountable. Those are things that we have to do in order to live this life so that we can be as he has called us to be. I thank you guys for listening, and uh, you're already taking the first step if you're checking this, these videos or these uh, audios, uh, podcasts out, because, I mean, you're trying to dive deep into his word, and that's what he's called us to do. So, hey, you're already applying it right there. I'll see you guys next episode as we continue to study First John, man, and dive deeper into the heart of God.